the on Uhuru Highway that's getting out into the city and the Haile Selassie Junction is going to cause a little bit of traffic that's coming in from Gong Road going towards Haile Selassie coming in from Kamkunji so Friday morning is busy it's moving in all directions but we're not looking at any crazy holdups at least not for now um, traffic hours seems to be uh, flowing along just smoothly let's talk on Spice FM KE on X as we try to keep things moving as they are this Friday This is The Situation Room, the home of hard-hitting political commentary and penetrating insights about the state of the nation. This is a talk radio experience like no other. The Situation Room, a place for hard truths, debates, and elevated conversations. The Situation Room, witty, political, engaging, deep, controversial. In the room, we have C.T. Muga, researcher, academic, seasoned political observer, a fountain of wisdom in these politically uncertain times. Ndu Oko, Nigerian by birth, Kenyan by choice, communications expert, pan-Africanist, a truth seeker and believer in people power, and Eric Latin, agent provocateur, the man in the chair, seasoned journalist, news hound, a man who believes in punching up, not down. This is The Situation Room. The only way to Indeed start... It is eight minutes after eight o'clock. Good morning and welcome to the third hour of Kenya's Biggest Conversation. The Situation Room gets into that third hour and we're having a political conversation after that health one. I don't know how you're going to see... We can somehow merge the two, right? Uh, <laughs> mental health issues and then we're looking into politics. Many would say that one are the same, but all right. Our audience is on KTN News and KTN Home with us and uh, as we continue those conversations thank you all right our guest for this hour is seated the secretary general of the jubilee party jeremiah kioni is here with us and we're looking at shifts shifts being made or uh, what could have been in mind the whole time then coming to the light i guess he'll tell us that as we get into it and before we welcome him properly let's see if you will run um the 20th of, rather, the 29th of October marks the 20th edition of Kenya's largest single day athletics event by way of the Standard Chartered Nairobi Marathon. It's happening oh. again this year, right? Uh, for the 20th time. It's a special one. And folks are saying, okay, so what do we do? How do we? Yes, well, you get to www.nairobimarathon.com. Simple. Then you see the different categories that you would want to run in. You look like a 42K man. Yes. You know, you can try that. There's a 21K, there's a 10K. Uh, there's the virtual run, so you don't have to have this pressure of the world looking at you. You can do it a week before. Really, there are options. Uh, 2,000 shillings, register with that. And then you could, if you decide to do the virtual run, you do it a week before, get your numbers on the leaderboard. Or if you decide to do the physical run, taking off on Uhuru Gardens that early Sunday morning, whichever one you try to do or decide to do, it's for a good cause. Mm. It's the Future Makers Programme. And it's making sure that young people, especially girls and people with disability, have the chance to learn, earn, and grow. So it goes towards that fantastic stuff because we ran. We can do it, I think. I've tried it twice. It's a good thing to do. Third time's a charm, they but say. That Could be this one. At the very, very early times. Yes. You were among those pioneers. Mm. I think I did. Did I do 21 or 10? Ah, see? Whichever I did, I ended up almost in hospital, but it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> was for something good <laughs> this is right okay so as you know you're not a stranger to this room yeah. and uh, ct welcomes us every morning with a proverb this week they're from malawi yes this, this is our let's see, have, let's see if i have one from kikuyu yes from when kenya. Uh, we kenya we have them mm. yeah. and the now that you mentioned let me just say that next week we'll be looking at problems from kenya <laughs> and he will say the ones in kikuyu, in kikuyu. I, that I should will, be fun i will actually look for Two proverbs from Kikuyu, mm. especially from around the area you come from. I'll mm. give you two. Uh, you, <laughs> I'll give you four. Uh, you if you, two. <laughs> all right, you'll give me four. Yeah. That is most welcome. Thank you. Mm. Now, our proverbs for the day. This is our final proverb. An upstart is a sparrow trying to marry a horn bill. Uh, imagine. <laughs> As you're imagining, mm. what does that mean to you? Wow, that is almost blank. Trying to marry? A sparrow. A sparrow Trying. is the definition of an upstart. Yes. Okay, so you see, when a sparrow tries to marry a hornbill, you know that's an upstart. Yes. Mm. 
not keeping to his lane. Yeah, you mm. really are completely off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but then since this is a problem, that's a question. Yes. Is it really off? <laughs> it might not be, but you never know. If the hornbill does a thing for him, I mean, mm. surely, can he not look? Mm -hmm. <laughs> can he also not want to marry the hornbill? Mm. Surely. Just because he's a sparrow. Why mm. limit himself? Mm. <laughs> you should, is that what you see? You, should, uh, you shouldn't limit yourself. You shouldn't limit yourself. Mm -hmm. I am looking at it from a political point of view. And you should never limit yourself. An upstart is the Kamwene leadership <laughs> trying to remain relevant in today's politics. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, yes. Maybe that would be an opportunity for us to kick off into the conversation. And we did see you this week, a couple of days ago, mm. um, making an announcement to the nation again about uh, leadership taking on a different outlook. Kamwene leadership is now what we're calling it. Mm. What is happening now? Um, I, um, one is that uh, I uh, representing Jubilee, yes. uh, part of Azimio, and we are in Azimio, uh, and Azimio is intact. Still? Very intact. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it is uh, uh, more intact than many would want uh, want to believe or would be happy to hear. <laughs> um, but uh, having said that, we, Kamwene, yes, we talked about Kamwene uh, this week where I was uh, the host at yeah. Jubilee this time loud. We have had many meetings. Some at NAC Kenya, others will be the PNU, some in hotels and everywhere. And Kamwene is just a grouping of uh, readers from out Kenya region who would want to come together and think of issues that uh, touch the mountain, uh, both politically, economically, socially, spiritually, mm. um, all those issues, including the education life of our people. Um, so we have been meeting and we'll continue meeting. We will have a ne another meeting next week. In the coming couple of months, we'll have uh, delegates coming from the counties that we think have uh, um, uh, people showing interest. So, and, um, and just like any other um, region, it is important that... Um, Issues of Mount Kenya also now looked at as from where we 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 sit. We want to look at those issues more critically. Mm. I will tell you that um, even as you were meeting this week, the, I think later in the afternoon a report was released, and uh, Mount Kenya counties had the worst revenue collection record. In fact, many of them had a negative uh, revenue collection. In fact, Which the last are, on the 47, which, just yes. a minute, the last of the 47 was uh, uh, Raikipia, followed by Nyeri, mm -hmm. and they all queued that way, occupying the, uh, the first 14 uh, places, but from behind. Which more, uh, and those are uh, issues that cannot be allowed to just... Uh, uh, you uh, can't wish them away. I'm there puzzled. must be a reason. I'm puzzled. How, how do you get a negative collection? I mean, I mean, th th that's why you, you, you saw me interrupting you because you said it and I'm alarmed. I'm saying, mm. how, how do you achieve this? It's a negative growth. Uh, for example, if a county had collected 200 million shillings last year, yes, it ends up collecting like 20 million this year. Ah. Mm -hmm. So okay. something is completely wrong. And what does that mean? Okay. It, it ties with what we had said earlier as Kamwene. Mm -hmm. The finance bill, among other issues, the finance bill that is still the uh, subject of a court process, mm -hmm. but which is already being implemented by the government of the day or the regime of the day, impacted negatively on the businesses in that region. It may not be the one showing the reasons because it was uh, just passed for this uh, year. Mm -hmm. But measures that have been put in place by this KK regime have tended to hit the business community from those regions in a very negative way. If you go to, um, and if you understand, some of the things I am understanding more now as I continue interacting with the people in the business world. Mm. I went to this Kirinyaga 
Ikomba area. Yes. And they have networks that go to Eldoret, they go to Nyeri, mm -hmm. they go to Meru, they go to Embu. And all those networks are suffering. Why? Because the taxation measures that have been put in place have hit the associate sources at Kikomba because of the different ways of now, um, how you import goods into the country, mm -hmm. what you must uh, meet, fulfill, conditions, all those things. When you come to issues like agriculture, this is a region that has always been known um, for perhaps its agricultural um, productivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But look at something like um, um, coffee. You have seen people uprooting coffee. Last year, two years ago, mm -hmm. they were doing a kilo at 120 shillings. Today, it's at 20 bob. Macadamia, mm -hmm. which was a major industry. In fact, it was uh, like the new liberation in the region. This regime comes into the play, they remove the, the restriction that was there for those who wanted to import it from Kenya. They allowed them to import without processing in the country, no value addition, and all the factories have now closed. I think the last one, Pius, is selling his 800 acres here in Thika. Okay. So the industry has collapsed. All right. And these issues are issues that we as uh, leaders of the mountain must give a forum now for us to stock and talk loudly. Okay. I know you have a question, but just before, let me just say one <laughs> final thing. Okay. It, and it is there, you reported it. I think I heard it also from this uh, wonderful uh, station. Mm. Uh, William Ruto and his team, they go to Western Kenya, and they are able to waive uh, levies or outstanding payments of about 89 billion shillings for the sugar cane farmers, which is a good thing. We want the, the farmers of sugar. Uh, to come back uh, and earn a living. But when they come to Mount Kenya region, what do we see? Nothing. There is coffee corrupting, tea is corrupting, I talked to Macadamia, but what do I get? A plate of rice and some yama. Mm. You know I mean? These are things we must uh, start talking about uh, more cardedry uh, without, uh, um, without waiting for anybody to, uh, to, to help us. Mm. And I tell you what I said also, is that clearly people have moved from Muda but they are not coming to Azimio. Where are they going? They are there, yeah. like the Israelites. And we, cannot allow, we cannot allow them to wander for 40 years. Okay. Quickly, we must give them direction. Okay, and so Kamwene is yeah. just one of the things that you'll be hearing. Mm. It is not meant for anybody. It's any person who thinks needs to bring, including uh, businessmen. In our last meeting, we had some businessmen retired who came over and said it's true we must start talking about our own issues. So there are a number of things happening here. It's not the Many. first time. Yes. It's not the first time that we've seen, um, I don't want to call it a faction, uh, a, a number of people who've risen up and talked about the need to have Mount Kenya issues uh, taken care of. Mm. Uh, whether we were looking at an election period, whether we were looking at... Uh, um, factors or elements being discussed within party, now we are looking and saying, with the current government still, that there are things happening within the mount, mountain region that are not uh, up to scratch, that mm. are not adequate. Mm. So what you're saying is that whether you are in government, whether you're out of government, whether you're in whatever political party that you're in, Kamwene, which by the way incidentally means, what does it mean? It means uh, talking about your own issues. Okay. Yes. All right. Nisisi tu, kwanza tuonge yetu, yes. kabla kupereka korokoro zetu kwa wegine. All right. So you have an opportunity to join Kamwene yes. to now come and discuss those issues. Okay. Mm. On to what end? What will you take now, these issues that are being discussed? On what platform or forum will you say now we need to now move forward? Or is it just a space for agitation? One is that uh, agitation is a very crucial thing in uh, the kind of system uh, we are. And agitation, if you take it to mean advocacy. Mm -hmm. uh, it is important for you to advocate on behalf of the people who may be looking up upon you. Um, last night I was given a call by somebody who says, I have never called you, but niruhusu tu ni kuambia shida yangu. Na And uh, such a person, I don't know how many people call you also, but uh, it is the government that should be helping those people. It's not me and you, we cannot be able, you can only lie. And you know, when you want to be a populist, you have some money stuck somewhere. So, mutu wanakuja unapatia, tano huyu unapatia. But that's not the way to do things. Mm. Today, as we sit here, how many young 
people, how many of our children are not in school because of the new education system? Charging fees, things that we don't understand. We were analyzing as Kamwene and we actually got figures using what we have seen. The education cost has mm. gone up by 225 percent. Since when? Between when and when? Since last year and now. 225 percent. People are being told, report to the university. You report. Yeah, there was uh, some classifications. Is you vulnerable, needy, very needy, mm -hmm. not needy? I don't know what all those things. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether it's needy because you have not eaten enough. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I, you cannot quite tell the criteria that is being used. But you need to report so that you are then told what classification or what category you fall in. Yes. And how much you will be helped. And how much you will be helped. Yeah. That kind of uncertainty. How many parents want to set their kids off to uh, school or places and they have no certainty. They are not certain whether it's something they're going to afford. I mean, this, there are things that are happening in this country. And I was telling my colleagues in Azimio that if we are not careful, even Kenyan themselves will go ahead of us. People are suffering and people are confused. So the same children, mm. now there is a big campaign in Mount Kenya region. Funga ba, funga ba, funga ba. Na zimefungwa, lakini hakuna mtu ambaya na zifuga na barua. The person who is being told to close the bar has paid a license to the county government. All the, the statutory things, lakini asubui wa mekutu na mtu na mwana siyasa, an MCA on a member of parliament in the presence of the other, fugeni. Sawa, so, mwefunga. That person, what are you doing to that person? Yes, we don't want people drinking uh, beer. But the way to stop drinking beer, it is not by crossing bars. Mm. It is by giving people what is due to them. And that is why we are also saying at Kamwene, one shilling, we are saying one man, one vote, one shilling. Mm -hmm. And one man, one vote, one shilling does not mean that you are taking money from any other community. No. Give us money equal to the number of people in those legions. Or something equivalent to the population. Then you will not see these young people drinking everywhere. We had kazi mitani, kazi kwa vijana. Look at the embarrassment that we had as a country the other day here. Some 350 slots for NYS. For a KDF. KDF. Mm -hmm. Here at Ebakasi. And the thousands and thousands of our young people turned up. That was a very embarrassing uh, thing. And little, and you and I know, maybe uh, you may not want to read it as a proverb, but you and I know we can actually make one now for mm. you to read next year. <laughs> that by the time you are going for those slots, when you are you are only going to help those who have already been allocated to continue taking them. You are validating the process. Yes, you are just validating what people have done. And I can tell you now, the TSC forms, something that was worked on very hard by Kibaki and the Uru's regime, let the, the recruitment of teachers be on merit. Let it not be because of who you know. Mm. A young lady who leaves uh, college the other day comes and finds an old person who left uh, college 2014. She is employed. The 214 person is waiting. That's what is happening. The forms are now available. Members of parliament are working with them to ditch them out to their villagers. Honestly, that is what is happening. And if we do not talk about these things, this country, I am not sure you can see four years uh, holding together. So then again, the question is, come when a leadership, mm. is this a position whereby folks can agitate? Or is there something that we are saying as a result will then be done for these issues that you're talking about? And how can folks be guaranteed that it is essentially not a grouping of individuals, politicians, who previously were in some limelight and are still looking for expediency today? How, how can you be sure? There is no climb with the politicians who are in the limelight looking for an opportunity to be in the limelight. Mm. And one of the ways of being in the limelight is actually uh, turning up to an invitation to Spice FM this morning. Mm. There is no climb in that. There is no climb for, of creating a platform where younger leaders in the legion can be given a better platform where they can be better leaders. Leaders who take on platforms and don't insult others.
leaders who take on platform and don't tell you when you are really suffering because of the high cost of fuel, the leader who will not tell you, go and dig your own well in your own compound. That's not the leadership we are looking for. So Kamwene would also be a forum to nurture new leaders in Mount Kenya who can be able to articulate issues of the region without insulting other people from other communities. Mm. So it is a platform, yes, we will articulate all these issues and I will not be, I'm not saying that we are also not, we will also be pushing for, for political leadership. Whether within Kamwene or from whichever other formations that are there, mm. we, would be, we will be pushing for political leadership. 2017 or no, 2022, mm. uh, it was a time when some we maybe we did not have a political leader in the form of a presidential candidate from, from that mountain region. It doesn't mean that we are not going to have uh, those opportunities coming through. If it comes through Kamwene, so be it. And this uh, is nothing wrong in nurturing that kind of ambition or nurturing leadership of that nature. In any case, if today we, I was to ask you here and don't answer me. Okay. <laughs> if you are looking, but, you're, you're, but you're going to ask quite. nonetheless. Yes, yeah. but just we like not a answer. very difficult <laughs> proverb that you have given us this morning. <laughs> I mean, we have we have leaders. Look at our leaders who have today, and the leaders who are there. The, let me give you a, a person I respect called Kemunya. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are to bring Kemunya to the leadership, he is a he is a cut above all the people who are there. You have Peter Munya. Mm. You have Dito Muridi. You have Jeremiah Kioni, you have Mother Karua. All these are people who are capable of even leading this country without uh, blinking. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, it is not, we, I am not, we are not limiting ourselves to just saying that, oh, and we are not even hiding to say that we are just advo advocating for people's uh, rights to be respected. You are, in any case, uh, for you to be able to push an idea that you have in a better way, you need that platform. Okay. Yeah, so I want to confirm that we are not limiting ourselves to just uh, uh, issues that uh, are affecting people. But we would want to advocate for them now and tomorrow, even when you are in the offices that others are occupying, uh, for one reason or another. And um, I, I know there are, there, are, there are many people who are saying many things, but I want to repeat now again, and it is clear, we... we moved into KK camp and we moved into a Simeo camp. Uh, we are still saying open the servers because there are those people who think that, uh, were, like uh, yesterday I had uh, a guy called uh, Omar, Hassan Omar, saying how many foods did you bring to Azimio? And I'm telling you, open the server. <laughs> and you can see. <laughs> open the server. We took 1.6 million votes there. Zile Waliba. Open the server. So don't ask the question. Come away, Munyewe. And these are things we will never stop. So saying. is that where the is that where the friction came from yesterday? Is that what we're saying? Essentially, well, what there, happened there yesterday? There are many reasons as to why frictions will come, but um, uh, that is also a good area for friction. And so it still continues to be a pain point here that you're saying if you want to find out what really happened, then open up the server and, and then I you tell get you, some answers. It seems like we're going to be able to, we're going to keep riding on that particular element for a while until it's done. And you know, it is very unfortunate mm. because even before you are told to open the server, the law requires IEBC to do so. But they don't want to do it for the reasons that they, and they have been trying to manipulate on to tank and, tam and tamper with it. And I'm sure those are issues that are going to come out in the coming days. Uh, but if you don't want me to say many things, um, or you do, if you don't want to, just do the obvious. Mm. The, server, the server is not a secret thing. It is a thing that should be, as you bring the, the results on the screen in Bombers, mm. come and see their server, where they are coming from. Mm -hmm. But that thing, they have refused completely. Why would you want to refuse with it? Right. So the bipartisan talks became yes. a shouting match yesterday. Essentially, that's what happened. Mm. And here we are still looking at fundamental issues um, that one would have thought would have been overcome now. One side from the bipartisan talks, now we see that within that side, Kamwene leadership is coming out of that. The other side, we're throwing things at each other. And the question is, how then will any solution come out of this if there seems to be so many pots boiling? You want to think about that as we go to a break? Well, I, I have the answer. Not too much of thinking, but you can go for a break. <laughs> okay, let's take a break and come back and we'll hear that uh, uh, the answer to that question. Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, 